invited because I'm an expert on uh, manhwa. Uh, my 10-year-old son would know a lot more about it than, than I do. But I imagine I'm here because of some of the connections I have, which are rather good. Uh, I'm sufficiently old to know a lot of extremely famous filmmakers, uh, people like Tim Bevan, uh, their working title I've known for something like 25, 30 years. Uh, Hussein Amini, um, a writer, now a director that you might know, who was, um, well, he, he managed to get Refn a, a gong at Cannes for, for film Drive, which he wrote last year. Uh, and the Curzon Group, who work very closely with the institute that I run. So we're, I'm very well connected. Um, not particularly famous myself, but I'd like to know who's in the room before I, I make any further comments, because I don't want to make a complete fool of myself. Uh, who are, who's involved in the, the graphic industry? How, how many illustrators do we have here? A few. Uh, publishers? People working in, in TV as producers, broadcasters? A couple. Games industry? Anybody working in the games industry? One. He's going to be very popular. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what about the film industry? Do we have anybody working in the film industry? Oh, quite a few. Okay, well, I'll, I'll speak to you later. But uh, <laughs> I think my, my job really is to probably draw attention to what most of us on a, just a brief visit here would recognize as uh, hidden treasures because most of us are probably familiar in one way or another with manga uh, from Japan. Uh, but the slight deviation in pronunciation to manhwa uh, takes us to an unbelievable source of material and uh, I bow to Mr. Lee uh, for not only the elegance of his speech but uh, his experience in this particular field and uh, those of you who are working in um, any form of the entertainment industry will know that uh, print illustration it has been for something like a hundred years now the most incredible resource for stories and um, it's possible that most of us fell in love with stories when our mum and dad read us a, a bedtime tale um, age four or five, but by the time we could actually pick something up and maintain concentration for longer than about 30 seconds, most of us were complete fanboys. Now, we may have grown out of it, or some of us may have grown out of it, but you, don't, you only have to look at what's going on in the United States to see the resurgence of uh, the graphic novel as a source of phenomenal uh, stories. So, uh, Manhua seems to me, just even, at a, I was trying to do my homework yesterday, uh, just an incredible range of styles, and I think before I get um, shot, uh, I would go out on a, a limb and say that the Japanese manga in some way has shrunk in terms of its range. I mean, I'm, I'm not an expert, but looking over my son's shoulder, it seems to me that manhwa does hold out uh, an existing range of styles, tone, content matter, which is incredibly competitive, let's put it that way. In this country, the last time I looked, we had something like three billion pounds worth of business in the gaming industry alone. Uh, that is huge. That's got to be, I don't know, 200 times the size of our film industry. So uh, I don't know. I don't think TT Games are represented here or Rockstar Leeds. These are the people that make Lego Star Wars and uh, Grand Theft Auto and so on. But this is a huge industry that we have in this country. Add to that uh, BBC, CBB's uh, working title, Ealing Studios and so on. And we are a phenomenal resource of storytelling. Uh, we, we have a, a punch that is much bigger than our weight. So I would say that it's, it's our responsibility almost, all of us in, the, in this room, if we like what we see, to go out there and, and spread the word. I'd like to say thank you so much to, to Cocker for the invitation uh, to, to say these few words uh, to Catherine Kelly, So Young Young. Um, it's been uh, an education for me uh, to be here today. Um, what else? Uh, I think the, the little that we've seen of um, Manhua going to the big screen, uh, films like Priest would be the obvious example, are an indication of uh, the tip of an iceberg. Um, it's fantastic that the London Korean Film Festival is running concurrently because there's been such a resurgence in the last, whatever, 10 years of Korean cinema. It strikes me that, that those movies, uh, Old Boy, Musa, Memories of Murder, movies like that, are uh, just an example of the, the sheer quantity of talent that's coming out of South Korea. And uh, I think it would be a terrible shame if we in the United Kingdom couldn't collaborate with that talent and begin to do the sort of thing that, dare I say, if I mention a Japanese com company, Studio Ghibli, if you look at what Studio Ghibli has done, very often picking up on UK stories, actually. So Howl's Moving Castle, for example, is a Welsh story. 
and then looking at the way that they've linked up with um, Pixar, for example, and John Lasseter on the last couple of films, Ponyo and Arietti. These surely are examples of the sort of cross-cultural collaboration that could exist between uh, Korean manhwa and the sort of things that we're doing in this country. So thank you to Cocker. Good luck. And I hope all of us will spread the word. Thank you very much.